Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the St Matthews Golf Performance Centre here at Silverdale Golf Club. Uh, it's a cold, windy Sunday afternoon out there. Um, loads of guys still out there playing, but all wrapped up, bubble hats, um, mitts are on now, hand warmers, everything that you could need, all available in the pro shop just next door. Um, plenty of great golf going on on the telly, got the Turkish Airlines, um, got the, the Challenge Tour, their Road to Oman just finished. Um, lots of Nike swooshers doing very, very well in these events, winning, uh, winning the Road to Oman, winning the Turkish Airlines, great to see. Very quick video here based around shot shaping. Shot shaping, I'm going to cover the two main shots, I'm going to cover a fade and I'm going to cover a draw. Okay, I'm going to just run through when you're out there next time, what you need to be thinking about to actually be able to play one of those two shots under control. So I've got the GC2 set up here, uh, I've got our target line down the centre there. And I'll start with a fade, one I don't like too much. My, my normal shot, my usual shot is a draw. So we'll start with a fade. I need to set my club face slightly left of this target line. So we class that as closed of this target line. Club face slightly left of that target line. I need to set my feet, my hips and my shoulders open to this target line, which is also left, but more to the left than where I'm going to be aiming this club face. So my club face slightly close to that target line, left. Feet, hips and shoulders open to that target line, further left. Ball positions in the middle, I've got a mid iron, a seven iron here. I need to be then feeling my swing, swinging along the line of my shoulders, which is left of that target, while maintaining that club face in its position that it started in, which is closed at that target line, but open to this swing direction that I'm going to be swinging along. That's going to allow us to produce a start line that starts left of target, curves left to right in the air, and lands back on target. Let's give it a go. Okay, for a matter of the, uh, the uh, video that we've done here, ignore that shot. That is what we call a double cross. I was going to teach you that another time, but I'm going to teach you that now anyway. Double cross. Starts the way we want, we swing the way that we want to, but I've let my hands release. I've closed that club face through the shot. So, let's try again for a fade. That's better. I knew it was going to take a take or two, that one. So, we've seen the start direction, it's like fractionally left of target. Curved a little bit to the right in the air. A fairly neutral shot, this one. But, it's under control, landed softly towards my target line. So, if we flip ourselves around now, and talk about the shot that we see that moves right to left. This time we're looking at a draw. A draw shot that starts right of target, curves left in the air, finishes on target. Generally one thing you'll find that produces a little bit more distance because of the type of spin that it's producing. However, all you're looking to do now is flip round what we've just discussed. So I'm going to have my club face starting right of my target, just slightly right of my target. I'm then going to have my feet, my hips and my shoulders further right of that target line. Okay? So club face slightly right, feet, hips and shoulders further right of that target line. I'm going to swing my golf club along the line of my shoulders and keep my club face in a position where my club face is going to be slightly close to that swing direction. I'm going to allow it to produce right to left curvature, starting right, finishing on target. Let's give this one a go. This one's supposed to be my easier shot to hit, so we'll see. Okay, you can see clearly with that one. We've had to right to left curvature, started right of target, curve left in the air, finished a little bit left of target, got some good yardage to that one, got that up there just short of 200 yards, whereas the other one hit a nice fade, 185, so you can see the difference there in that yardage. Very quick introduction to shot shaping. Lots to it, lots of different ball flights out there, but vital elements and ingredients that we need to have in place to be able to play these shots under control. Hope this has helped guys, hope you're enjoying your weekend and I look forward to catching up with you all again soon. Any questions, please be in touch. Visit my website, www.sammatthewsgolf.co.uk and I look forward to catching up soon. Cheers, guys.